Welcome back to Falling Fox Gaming, everybody. I'm your host, Blaine, and today we're picking up with some more Kenshi. As what can only be described as a unique bunch. Overlooks their target. The backdrop of the world seems infinite. Sand, rocks, small vegetation, not much else. It's a desolate place. But their target in front of them is even more desolate. Something far worse. Far more unforgiving. In front of them lies a holy nation mining outpost. And it is here that our quest will unfold today. Yankee, Shigar, Nu, Ryoko, and Bash have formed the group The Breakers. They're going to be the scouts, the freedom fighters, and the group that attempts to free as many slaves as possible. They will form the elite strike contingent against the Holy Nation. Their quest begins today. Well, <laughs> not exactly. So we're going to snap back to these guys very soon. We actually need to t take these guys and put them in the stealth mode and have them go up here and attempt to hide. Because <laughs> we're about to be attacked by the Holy Nation again. So while they are actually about to be um, attacked here at our base, we have our little role play going on up north. Now, I haven't actually taken a peek to see what's going on down here. I just got the message a little bit ago that we're about to be attacked again. So let me tell you guys what, have ha what has happened here at the defensive area. We got everyone all healed up. Everyone is in great shape. And we have a few things that are new. We got ourselves some skeleton repair beds here, and we were about to actually build some cages. Um, well, you know, we're going to have to go without the prisoner cages for now. We're just going to have to see what the Holy Nation is going to assault us with. So we'll be right back. Okay, so here's the thing. I took a quick peek at the uh, contingent coming to attack us, and it's just the same group that attacked us last time. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually just going to play that off screen. Uh, I don't feel like that's worth showing you guys again seeing as we literally just did that so if you wanted to watch that i'm sorry i'll show another one in the near future but for now i want to get on with the role play so i'm just going to play this one off screen thank you for your patience all right returning back up north here our situation down at our uh, base is actually taken care of so we're good there uh we have several things that we need to take a look at while we're here so to give us a clear indication of what we're doing up here, we are going to scout this territory first. So we're going to have them all run up just a little bit closer. Ooh, wait. Are the bandits going to attack? No way. Are the bandits attacking the Holy Nation? <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Wait, so do we have any slaves up here actually? Oh my god, look at everything. This is just crazy. I never thought I would see this. So the starving or hungry bandits are attacking the holy nation that's awesome that will draw out some of the de defenses so let's take a look what they have for defenses so they have a holy sentinel they have another holy sentinel they have what's this guy up here we know there's a guy up here a paladin i'm not too worried about this group actually okay so we're gonna move in and we're gonna see what we can do uh, I don't actually plan on attacking either of these groups, but I do want to see what's going on. This one's going to be a little bit less cinematic, so if you guys like the uh, the roleplay cinematic story, uh, we're going to continue that next time. This is going to be more of a, a mission-based episode because, uh, well, first of all, that's a lot of Hungry Bandits. I actually don't want to get involved in that, so I'm going to go over this way and see if I can kind of peek in the base a little bit better. Are the Hungry Bandits actually going to win this? Well, they are. So, uh, there was definitely a fight. The it looks like the holy band or the holy nation won. Yep. So that's actually really good for us because they're actually in pretty bad shape now. Uh, well, at least the slaver is, which is one less person we really have to deal with. The hungry bandits are very well beat up. Lower servant. So. That's a slave. So our primary goal today is to free this guy. Whatever it takes, we're going to try and free that guy. 
Everyone else here is kind of secondary. We have someone coming to patrol out here. The High Overseer. Ooh, okay. That guy's a lot more dangerous. Oh, I got to show you guys something else, too. Uh, so, Ryoko and Bash are our new rangers. They are they're our stealth people. If you guys remember, they're our assassins. I decided to equip them with some rangers. They're not anything special in terms of quality or anything. They're standard quality. But primarily, I kind of want them to be our archers now. Along with new... Shigar and Yankee who are going to be holding up the you know the primary melee stuff so I'm thinking we're in really good shape right now in terms of this squad it's the first time we've had archers in our squad so I gotta kind of get used to using them so if you guys see me doing stupid things with it please forgive me it's been a while since I've actually used archers in a game so now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and free this person I'm thinking Ryoko can probably just run right up there and free this person let's give it a shot Ryoko, why does it say they're spotted? Confused. Whatever. We'll find out. <laughs> and boop. Okay, so we now have that guy running. Let's try and KO this person if we can. Stealth KO, we should be able to. And thunk. And see if we can do it to this guy too. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, I don't think we can actually talk to this guy or anything, but this is how we're going to kind of do this. Uh, we're going to take, we're going to actually go with, uh, let's do Bash. We're going to have Bash come up, run up here and kidnap the Paladin. We're going to have, we'll do New. New, you've been around with us for a while, so we're going to have you actually kidnap the High Overseer. I want you to have the important guy. And Shigar and Yankee, you guys are going to actually be holding the line if we get into a fight. So let's uh, let's haul back this way and see what's going on. We have everyone's left us alone. Perfect. So let's take a quick peek. We have everyone gathered up here. New, you're going to go ahead and remove this guy's gear because, well, we don't want him wearing gear. He can keep his pants. We're going to take his shoes because he has some decent quality shoes, food and whatnot. Uh, we don't really have any way to deal with their weapons because they don't fit in our inventory and I don't think anybody brought a backpack. I think I actually forgot backpacks. Oh, there's a backpack. Not good enough though. So, Bash, you're actually going to be dealing with a generic weapon. Oh, Ryoko's probably going to have to do the same thing. We're going to have to take the weapon off this guy too. So, that is going to kind of hamper our original plan a little bit. But that's okay. Uh, this is kind of a learning process for us. I wasn't entirely sure how this was going to go down. I just wanted to scout this place out. And in all honesty, if we can get their like main weapons off them, I'm good enough. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's take all of their stuff. Yeah, I want them to be mostly naked. Okay, so these guys are disarmed for now. That is two of the biggest problems out of the way. That's the High Overseer, which is a guy with the really good stats. And then the guy with better stats. So Ryoko now, you should be still high stealth, right? Yep. Okay. So Ryoko's awesome with stealth. Jesus. I actually didn't realize how good Ryoko was. Who's this guy? A slaver? Oh, holy nation. Guess what, buddy? You're going to get knocked out. Whoop -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> God, I love the Naruto run. That is like one of the best things. Thunk. Yeah, so I think their stealth is so good now that they can effectively do whatever they want unless they're like doing something ridiculous. Okay, why can't I pick this guy up? Well, hmm. Don't know why I can't pick him up. Uh, this guy, yeah, he's Holy Nation, right? Yep. Oh, good. Backpack. Good. I'm going to use your backpack against you. I'm going to steal your stuff because that is what we do. I'm going to leave you effectively naked. In terms of any form of armor. There. Now, can I actually pick him up? Oh, oh, I was clicking stealth KO. I was trying to knock him out some more. That's the problem there. Okay, so. Oh, shoot. Well, let's go ahead and give this a shot and see if we can knock this guy out while he's running like this. Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, he's going to try and heal his friend. Well, dunk. How'd that go for you? <laughs> okay, Yankee, come grab this guy. All right, I think we're in really good shape. Oh, that guy got enslaved again. So uh, that means Shigar. Shigar, you're not holding anyone, right? Got to pick this guy's 
Ah, uh, here, let's, let's unstealth with you and unlock shackles. So I want this guy to know that we are releasing him. So there you go, buddy. You're free. Feel free to meet us back in hub anytime you want. Okay, and we got someone going to try and attack us because of the escapee thing. Ryoko, are you able to get this guy? <laughs> I don't know if that's even possible. <laughs> that, that was great. I don't <laughs> okay, uh, Chigar, you're up. You gotta kidnap this guy. So, I'm not certain, but that might have been their entire group here. We might have literally just knocked out and kidnapped every single person here. Uh, if that's the case, we are in better shape than I ever thought we would be for this. Oh, is there another person shackled up here? Oh, wait, that's a hungry bandit. I don't care about that guy. Is he slaved? Enslaved? Uh, let's see. Does he have shackles? Yeah, he has shackles. Someone, get him. Undo his shackles. You're free, dude. I don't care. <laughs> no, what are you doing? Always oh, someone that doesn't want to be um, released. Ooh, what is this? Okay, so we're not done yet. There's actually more guards here still. So you know what? Let's do this. We're going to pull back and do our old technique of taking people out little by little. I think, oh, what is this? Do we have, oh, I missed that guy somehow. Well, I do believe that we are free to kidnap these people, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> and we're gonna bring back way over here. Let's speed this up a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to cut this part out of the video, but I'm going to let you guys know what I'm going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these people and we're going to set them down one by one at a time. And we're just going to beat them to a mush. And then when they're all pretty much done, we're going to go in and fight the rest of the encampment. So that should be fun. It's going to take a while though, so I'll be right back. So the work is pretty much done. Fight after fight. Stubborn paladin after stubborn paladin. They're down now for at least the remainder of the night. We're going to head in and see what we can find. Now the thing is, we should have cleared out most of the people here in the encampment in that first little skirmish. Our warriors are quite elite these days, and it wasn't actually even that difficult. I'm not going to go ahead and say that everything is clear here, because I actually don't know what's inside here. Uh, like Yeah, like that right there. There's a couple paladins right here. Holy Sentinel, Holy Sentinel, and actually we're just going to see if I can go outside. And actually, I'm going to do this fight kind of legit. I want you guys to kind of see what these guys are able to do these days. So let's head in, and we're going to go ahead and attack these guys. So we're going to say Holy Sentinel, attack unprovoked, and let's just go ahead and let this brawl take place. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. So let's go ahead and take a look to see who we got here. So that way you guys can watch your perspective characters. Which, by the way, if anybody else still wants a character in the game, let me know and I can uh, rename people. So if you do, just give me a name, the preferred uh, species and gender, and if you have any kind of preferred weapons or anything that I could try and get them. But So yes, yeah, so we have Yankee here, Shigar back here, New here, and then Bash and Ryoko in. So here we go. Now, I'm really impressed with how skilled everyone is these days. Uh, most of this is actually from just fighting bandits initially. I did do the training to kind of boost them up a bit. But a lot of their skills got to around the mid-40s or so before I just kind of boosted their stats up to about 50 just to kind of make them, you know, finish them off their training. Uh, so everyone is actually in really good shape. Alarm raised, that's okay. I fear nothing from this. I don't think that anything they can do will cause us problems. And actually, let's take a look. I think we got an armored shirt. We did. Is everyone wearing an armored shirt? Leather. Leather. I think he's wearing... Oh, you. <laughs> Poor New. I thought New had armor on this whole time. It's actually just a dyed turtleneck. <laughs> Sorry about that. That would have probably actually helped out in several fights that he was in where he took extra damage where he didn't need to. <laughs> Only because I thought he was wearing a little bit better armor. That's okay. It happens. Uh, we'll go ahead and take some more food off these guys because I don't want them to have any food or healing stuff. Do we have anything in here? Oh, em Emperor's. Uh, 
Small Emperor statue, that's pretty valuable. So let's take that if we can. Do we have space for it? I don't know. I don't think we have any space. Man, not bringing a backpack really sucked. I should have done that. Okay, can we take that? Okay, we got that. That's actually worth a decent amount. Oh, never mind. It's only worth 80. Well, whatever. We're just gonna... Whoa. Okay. Uh, we need to come back here with a bigger group. You know, let's just focus on clearing them out. This is definitely a high-end place to loot, so we're going to have to come back here. Uh, we're going to take a look, see how long... Okay, these guys are going to wake back up, so we're actually going to let them wake back up and ambush them again. Uh, I'm okay with them coming back to try and fight us, but if they do that, I want to make sure that they are very weakened. Like this guy's going to wake up in 20 seconds, so let's just skip forward. And I'll show you guys kind of the tactic I used. So you stealth, go away a little bit, and then you kind of just let them wake up. You go on stealth, you wait till they stand up to attack them. But once they're about like that, then you can attack. Oh, see? I attack them just a little bit too early. So if you do that, they just go unconscious again, which is really annoying. Haha! -ha. Look at that. Holy Nation is now hostile towards you. Ah, uh, they have been for quite some time. Oh, I think our people actually took a little bit of damage there. So Bash has some med kits, so I'm gonna actually have him do medicking. What is where is he going? Where are you going, dude? Wait, is he No. Heal our own people, you idiot. Okay, we're gonna turn him off medic already because he's trying to heal up the bandit. Whatever, let's head inside. Oops. I need to slow this down a little bit. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and attack this guy just outright. We're not going to hide anything. I think our people are good enough to take these guys on now. A couple people at a time, so let's just go ahead and make sure he doesn't have any med kits or anything, because that's really what this is about. Um, come on, grab his stuff. Oh, he's falling through the air, so I can't grab it. <laughs> Oops. Okay, there. He doesn't have his med kit. Uh, do they need food? I feel like I'm going to give them the shirt back. I'm going to put the food in the backpack, just in case anybody needs it. Yeah, we have kind of a weird allotment of items, so yeah, whatever. I don't care about the armor. We're going to come back through here for sure, so I'm not too worried about anything we leave here. Go ahead and enter this area. It's like their slave building, I think. Yep. Go ahead and attack their guards. Oh, there we go. We're going to have a little group, a little actual little group fight in here. All right. Yep. And they are pretty much nothing to us now. Are these the guys we're already fighting? Yeah, they somehow got in here to heal. That's dumb. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and free this person. Go ahead. Free the cave. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay, you know what? I don't know what the problem is, so I'm just going to ignore it. And we're going to go upstairs and see if there's anybody up here that's going to cause us problems. Uh, nope. Which is fine. I'd rather there not be any problems. So head back out here. Actually, we're going to leave... Uh, I think we're going to leave. Let's see how many people do we have. They have two people in here. He's playing dead. Ooh, that guy's already up. So we're going to back out just a little bit, just so that way that guy can think he's safe. Dude. Okay, we'll try stealing off him. That always angers him. <laughs> okay. Um, take their med kit off them. I really wish I could take their weapons off them. Oh, I suppose I could put them in like these chests that are right here. I could exactly do that. That is what I should be doing this whole time. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright, we're just going to have everybody heal themselves up. Uh, everyone took a little bit of damage in that skirmish, so... I think we're going to leave Yankee and Shigar here. You guys are going to be the guards for this building. Rako, Bash, and New. You guys are going to head into here. See if there's anybody going to cause us problems in here. Anything? Nope, I think this is actually cleared out. I think we've pretty much done it. What do we got here? Anything up here? No. So let's take a look at the mine. Yep, Holy Mine says that it is cleared out. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to end it here because, as you guys can see, we took this outpost pretty quickly. Uh, it took a little bit of, you know, cheesy tactics because our stealth is so high, but that's what our assassins trained for and I mean granted it was in the middle of the day but we could have waited till nighttime tactics blah 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 and that could have worked out but at the end of the day it's the same thing we stealthed in we knock people out kidnap them and then 
basically kill them while they're sleeping. That's effectively what we did. And that's the tactic we're going to use against the other outposts as well, because in all honesty, the Holy Nation numbers and brute force can beat us, but our tactics are going to win out against them, I think. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next time.